Hello everyone, uh, thank you for tuning in to this uh, little video. I hope you're okay, um, but however you are, the peace of Christ be with you. In our Gospel reading uh, this week, Jesus asks his disciples a question that he asks everyone. Who do you say that I am? For me personally, um, the most immediate response that brings up in my heart is all about time. You, Jesus, are the Lord of all time. Time. You can feel it in the air. September is coming as the season turns. Uh, does it feel that time is flying for you? Or has it been crawling along as you try to look after children or other people in very difficult circumstances? Time. What is it? Is it one damn thing after another? Is it one shopping trip after another? During this lockdown, many people have said that their sense of time has completely gone astray as one featureless day merges into another featureless day. Time. What's the point? Well, the calendar we use gives us a clue. I might not remember what uh, day of the week or month it is, but I do know what year it is. 2020. But 2020 what? 2020 years since the birth of Jesus. You cannot look at a calendar or a diary or a phone or a newspaper without being touched by him. Historically, um, rulers and kings claimed the right to define time itself. The day they took power became a sort of year zero. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar is how St. Luke has to date the beginning of Jesus's ministry. In ancient times, Caesar told you what time it was. In the 6th century, a monk called Dionysius Exegus changed all that. He said, world history turned not on rich, powerful men, but on this carpenter, born in a nowhere town, who never wrote anything, travelled anywhere, had no money, no home, and was crucified by state security forces on a Jerusalem rubbish tip. Yes, said Dionysius, this Jesus is where it all begins and where it all ends. Time belongs to him, so we'll date all of it in relation to him, BC and AD. On every calendar, he touches you. He speaks to you. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He is the one who makes time matter, who redeems time from all its pain and boredom and emptiness. As we say in church, let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, so he's got hold of your past. Christ is risen. He is present here, now, in your today. Christ will come in glory, so he fills your future. Past, present, future. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come 
in glory. Unfolding time is not the record of one pointless thing after another. It has purpose and hope. Why? Because time itself belongs to Christ and so ultimately it's all about love. Suffering love, yes. Crucified and dying love, yes. But love, he makes it and he is making it and he will make it ultimately all about love. So smile with hope every time you check the date and time. Who do you say that I am? The Lord of all time, says Dionysius. Who is Jesus? Universities, hospitals, orphanages and cathedrals have been built in his name. Works of art composed, written and painted in his name. Campaigns against slavery, child labour and all kinds of justice, injustice waged in his name. The very ideas in our heads are shaped by him, even if we don't know it. Who told us to love our enemies? Who told us to show compassion, even to those who could not possibly pay us back? Not Zeus or Odin or the pagan gods. Who told us that the littlest and the least children mattered, all of them, eternally? Isn't that obvious? No, not to the Spartans or ancient Romans, the Greco-Roman world threw unwanted babies onto rubbish dumps. Can you guess which sex most of those thrown, a bit, thrown away babies were? But then Christians turned up and started seeking out these unwanted children and adopting them. Why? because the one they followed said, let the children come to me. Who do you say that I am? You are the one who shows that the littlest and the least matter. They matter now, they will matter forever. It was an ugly, symbol of execution, but Jesus turned the Roman cross into the most recognised symbol of open-armed mercy the world has ever seen. Who do you say that I am? The one who takes a sign of sheer hell and turns it into a sign of sheer grace. To the abandoned, he is love. To the poor, he is a brother. To the crucified, he is tear-stained co-presence. To the ashamed, he is shelter. To the dead, he is resurrection. Who is he? In Jesus' name, says John Ortberg, desperate people pray, grateful people worship, angry people curse. Peter says, you are the Christ, the face of the living God. And you, who do you say that I am? Me? You are the one who holds all time the story of our lives. <laughs>